bonjour, welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake Part 12. We've just been in Moonshine Cave, not much in there, except a shotgun and some batteries. So we're going to go all the way up to Lover's Peak now and meet this kidnapper of my wife. Strange, I thought the shadow kidnapped her, but some guy who phoned me... Oh, that light just uh, broke over there and I was nowhere near it. What's this sign say? Do not feed... Oh, do not feed wildlife. Phone. Batteries. And the phone's off the... Oh, oh, oh. oh that's... Oh. oh, my God. That scared me very badly. Ow! That's oh, behind me, too. Ah, ah, ah. Go away. Just go away. I hate you. Please. That's what you get. That's what you get for throwing axes at me. Axe at me. Ah, oh, there's probably something in this darn toilet, isn't there? No, oh, no. Okay. Nothing, obviously. Lover's Peak. This way. I don't like bridges. Especially with water below them. And especially where a tree has just been snapped in half. Run, run, just run across it. Yeah, that was alright, wasn't it? Nothing happened. Good. Don't speak too soon. Or something will happen. I bet at the end of the game it's like a dead space thing where there's like a screamer and it just scares the living yeah, out of you. Living beep out of you. Because I know that outro scared me. The um, uh, I don't know if you've played Dead Space. I won't spoil it, but there's a, you know, like on YouTube where someone says, "Oh, real live aliens, view this video now," and then it's just a scream of pi picture of an alien going, Aah! and then yeah, you just like die. Well, I bet it's like there was one at the end of Dead Space One, and there's probably one at the end of this game. I don't know, but it's a really creepy game, and it just seems like that kind of game. So I don't know. Right, manuscript page. Never ha picked this one up before. Barry meets Rose. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Okay, so apparently I have just fallen off the face of the earth. Since the diner, no one's seen me, apparently. Okay, it sounds like Barry's lost his memory now as well. <sighs> right, let's carry on. Let's, uh, there's a truck over here, let's have a look. Probably someone will jump out of it. There's a horrible noise in the background, which I do not like. And the wind's picked up again, so I'm guessing someone's about to jump out at me. Quick, get on the truck, hide! Yes, something is definitely near me. Something is definitely near me. I do not like that sound. Get on the truck! Get high! I mean, yeah, get high, cover, you know what I mean. Get up there. Actually, never mind. I just want to get back on the path, I don't like the woods. Right, we're on our way to Lover's Peak, and the wind is not liking me right now. Lover's Peak, this way. I'm not going to stray off the path anymore. And there's probably manuscript pages, or other collectibles, maybe even ammo and stuff like that, but I'm kind of too freaked out to leave the path. Ah! Okay, he just came out of a tree. There's probably some behind me again. Oh, he's blocking the light. Okay, you have to... Right, so there is some tactical play in this. If they're blocking their eyes then don't waste your battery. There's another shadow over there, so I'm just going to sh... <laughs> get him from afar, and then boom. And there's another guy. Boom, boom, dead. Again. Okay. That was fun. Good old shooting. What's that say? The great old one. Felled by lightning in 1973. I mean 1937. Can't read. So we're two, 200 years old. 
measured 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. Nice. Let's go through it, shall we? Let's carry on down the beaten path. Oh, hello! Hello there! Hello and welcome to Alan Wake! We are just fighting some shadow people right now who just made my heart skip a beat. Ugh. I'm actually warm in a sense that I'm scared. You know that kind of feeling when you get scared and creeped out and you just start to sweat and you get warm and uh, you just want to like take off all your clothes because you're so hot. I know that sounds wrong but you know what I mean. Okay, Lover's Peak this way still. And the wind is still picked up. I think we're nearly there. There's a light there. Oh, they're behind me. They're behind me. Turn around. Turn around. Uh oh, there's only one of them. I'm not trusting it. Yep, there's some behind me now as well. And I just barely dodged that axe. And I did not dodge that one. I got that right in the face. Boom, boom, pow. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I hate that song. Let's carry on. Right. Hitchhike. Hitchhiker? Hiker's path, it says there. I think. So, there's a light, which will probably burst. Yes, I was right. And a switch. Let's start this up, whatever this does. Oh, it brings the light back on. Whoopee! Awesome source. Cafe souvenir shop. What's in you? Batteries and revolver ammo. Lovely. Manuscript page. I didn't find this one either. This one's right in plain sight. I must be blind. <sighs> Wake sees the torch symbol. I turn uh, the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. lovely water. Yeah, so that must be referring to the first box we found. I don't remember what part it was. It might have been four, three or four. Can't remember at all. Actually, it might... No, it was four. It was four. Oh, there's an axe in that phone. I didn't want to use it anyway. I better turn around now and there's like... Like five of them. Oh, I see a shiny thermos. There we go. Thermos. What is that? I do not want to fall down there because I'd have to start all over again. So yeah, bad idea going down there. That's why I'm not going down there. Okay, let's carry on the path. Oh, it's here, isn't it? Lover's Peak this way. I can't believe I missed that manuscript page on my previous game. You know, I just know that old woman's going to pop up. Bear alert. Crap. I do not want to run into a bear. That would, like, be the worst thing that could happen. Stupid crows, go away. Oh, did you see that? There was a shadow man just sneaking through there, past there, where my torch is going now. He's walked that way and he went behind that rock there. So, um, I'm guessing we're about to get a scare. Oh, I remember this part. They come from all angles. There's, like, two up there, and then there's, like, some... Oh, maybe not. I thought there was some that way as well. Oh, well. Ah, go away. Oh, he's a big strong guy. Oh, he's getting a bit close, isn't he? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. E major scale. G major scale. Okay, I don't know. I just made that up. It's a good song, in it? a song about scales. I'm, I'm doing music in college so I have to learn the theory business. It's quite boring really. I have to do stupid scales and uh, yeah, notes and quavers and crotchets and all that, all that jazz. Right, which way do I go? Right or left? Lover's Peak is right. What's left? For your safety Stay on designated hiking trail. Hmm. Do not feed the animals. Yeah, I know. 
I'll try not to. But if they catch me and claw at me, I might not have any choice. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I've, uh, I've got wind tonight. Lovely piece of information for you right there. Had spaghetti for lunch. For tea. That's probably why. Tastes like spaghetti every time I burp. Anyway. I might just, uh, if this is a checkpoint, I'm going to end it right here. Yes, checkpoint. Okay, guys. Um, obviously, I'm going to carry on with it because I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, playing a game without talking to yourself is quite boring, but talking to yourself at the same time, you know, comment commentating on what's going on, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty fun. Being honest, um, you guys should try it. I mean, y you can't really unless you've got... Uh, TV capture um, software and stuff, but I'm sure some people have done Let's Plays with video cameras on the screen, even. And just a microphone to the mouth, or like I've got a headset microphone. Um, and I'm sure it's doable. Right, I just want to plug someone before I go. Um, someone called Dragon Rascal. Dragon Rascal. He's um, on my... YouTube friends list and my he's subscribed to me on YouTube as well so I don't have many subscribers at this point in time so just if you're interested check him out he's uh, doing a Rascals Let's Play at the moment which is pretty cool I've, n I've never seen that game before and it seems quite entertaining so yeah definitely check it out and subscribe to him and subscribe to me too we're both from the UK so you're gonna have to put up our put up with our British accents Oh, I spy a manu manuscript page through there as well. Can you see that flashing? That white flash on that rock. Damn it. Oh, well, I can't go through there yet anyway. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Donkey Dude 15's Let's Play of Alan Wake. Um, more scares to come. Some pretty freaky things gone on the past few parts since we started this journey to Lover's Peak. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later.